Hello traders, my name is Tomasz Wiśniewski, I'm a Chief Analyst in Alpha Research and Analysis and this is Daily Analytical Report where as always we'll try to look for decent trading occasions and uh, we need to start with the calendar because finally we do have um, interesting things on the calendar especially the interest rate decision and um, 2 hours 45 minutes uh, from Eurozone and also uh, we will have durable goods orders from United States it's also influential so if you're planning to open a position on euro that's not the best time to do this uh, we do not expect any major changes uh, but definitely fireworks should happen when we will have a statement and press conference uh, so uh, decision itself can just increase the volatility spread and volatility so that's not the best time to trade um, and, but we should not we shouldn't get any surprises there but uh, fireworks can start uh, in three and a half hours when we will have a press conference and tomorrow don't forget about GDP uh, and um, personal consumption expenditures from US Let's start with the charts. Where is the euro dollar ahead of the decision? So euro dollar is in the long term symmetric triangle as you can see. Uh, here it all started in May and the volatility is decreasing. So this downswing, uh, this downswing had uh, 480 pips, um, upswing then 330, then downswing had 330. Uh, then upswing was smaller 250 downswing 200 upswing 160 if we start a new downswing here it will be even smaller and the price uh, it will be like 140 so the price is getting ready for a major breakout um, on a daily chart the breakout to the downside is more probable why because the price would create a head and shoulder pattern there so uh, left shoulder head and the right shoulder is uh, euro dollar following head and shoulder patterns well look at this left shoulder uh, head and the right shoulder it resulted with the breakout of the neckline but the price reversed inverse head and shoulder left shoulder head and right shoulder then a breakout of the neckline that was a false breakout because the price came back but then we had an upswing so it's not like this pair is following your head and shoulders all the time and this bounce from today was super important because that was a bounce from the upper line of the triangle but in the same time from this neckline so we know that this is the area of a super strong resistance price closing above this area will be a strong buy signal but now the price bounced and the closest um, the most probable scenario is contact somewhere here so a decline for 100 pips if you, if you believe that euro dollar will stay in range you have a trading opportunity 40 pips stop loss 100 pips take profit that's quite all right in terms of the risk to reward ratio but do not forget about the ecb today definitely if uh, ecb will be uh, dovish we will get a movement towards this line if ecb will be hawkish we will ha have a breakout so today we should get finally we should get a trading signal for euro dollar next one is silver and silver as for now is creating a shooting star and this shooting star is can be a nice sell signal why because we are on an ultimate support 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 broken support is being tested as a resistance and this test and you can see that most recently the price respected that too here 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 and this resistance is tested in a flag formation flag is a trend continuation pattern so we should see a further decline so drop correction drop correction 
drop. Uh, for the uh, one, first sell signal was created here when the price bounced from this resistance. But maybe we'll have an upswing and a head and shoulder pattern and then a breakout of the neckline will be a nice sell signal on silver. Another one is Swiss franc to Japanese yen. We're on a, we're on a weekly chart. The setup is really amazing. It's, it does not look so good on smaller time frames like the like uh, H1, H4. But on a weekly chart, if you do not, um, if you do not care about the uh, intraday movements, it looks really awesome. So we have a double top formation on a weekly chart, highs from 2017 and 18. Then there is a support which got broken and tested as a resistance with the shooting star. Next candle after shooting star is so far bearish is having lower lows and lower highs. And that is a significant sell signal. Unfortunately, like on the H H1 chart, for example, you have this head and shoulder formation. Well, it's fortunate, so it's awesome. But look at this. This is a downtrend, but this is not how the proper downtrend, uh, how proper breakout of the neckline should looks like. Should look like. So here we had a false breakout, then the price came back. Then we had another breakout of those lows, but then the price came back. So it's difficult to set the stop loss uh, for this. But now we're having another lower lows. But most probably the price will reverse again. And um, it's, uh, it's difficult to trade this. Uh, on a daily chart, we do have, as you can see, three dodges in a row, but lower and lower and lower. Uh, for me, for my strategy, this is not a good environment to trade. And as you can see, it's, uh, it didn't happen before. Look, we don't have three dodges in a row, like here maybe. But they are more or less in the same level. Here, no. Um, so weekly chart, okay. Maybe we'll have a small bounce there, but eventually we should get a breakout. But if you believe in the situation in the long term, selling here stop loss somewhere here on 100 pips and you can take profit on 300 pips so this is a good trading opportunity for the long-term traders but personally i would be afraid that the price will reverse now maybe to here but this area is no longer respected so no reason to have it maybe down down trend line will make more sense here so price testing the downtrend line okay fair enough that can be a good selling opportunity now you tell me if this neckline is still in play i think most recently no so price coming back to this trend line will be a nice sell signal price breaking the lower uh, green line will be a nice sell signal Euro to Australian dollar, still sideways trend and I bet that traders all over the world are waiting for this. Um, but, 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 it's not happening. Most probably it will happen today after the press conference. So let me remind you, breakout of the lower line of this formation, sell signal, breakout of the upper line of this formation, buy signal. Now New Zealand dollar to Canadian dollar. I said that uh, this is a good trading opportunity because the price is in a symmetric triangle pattern and we are waiting for the breakout. Mm, after breaking this smaller line, the price is attacking the lower line of this pattern. On a daily chart, that can bring us to those trend lines here and breakout of those trend lines can be catastrophic for this instrument can bring us a new long-term downtrend personally i would prefer an upswing uh, because the resistances are much uh, are far here uh, in terms of the downswing we have a support here uh, so the re risk to reward ratio is not the greatest, it's not the best because for example, 
price breaking the support closing below the support stop loss here take profit no no it doesn't make sense from the risk to reward ratio now american dollar to japanese yen this hammer was promising because it was bouncing from the combination of those supports but as you can see the price went lower so they created a, sh a symmetric triangle went lower tested that uh, as a resistance and went lower so now uh, the price broke this horizontal support is testing that as a resistance and this is a very negative situation and all this all this here but maybe let me change the color all this can be a false breakout on the weekly chart we are still trying to make something like a bounce here a hammer here will be a, a strong buy signal uh, but well buy, uh, buyers are struggling with the upswing but a comeback here would be would be really nice american dollar to swiss franc i told you that there is a good selling opportunity here yesterday then the price reversed but then they went lower again well downswing correction downswing that's and uh, that was expected mm, the price is, is trying to bounce back again but the thing is that we are uh, below major uh, supports uh, so which are now resistances the price making lower lows and lower highs so the sentiment is definitely negative and we will have a proper nice sell signal once the price will break this orange support yes price closing below here boom now British pound to Canadian dollar which is my personal uh, mistake because you remember I sold here got stop loss somewhere here and then the price reversed it the stop loss wasn't on point because my stop loss was somewhere here the price went like 20 pips higher uh, but after this the price went lower so i wasn't i didn't expect a wedge i thought that the price will bounce from this horizontal resistance eventually the second time and then we'll have a drop but the price created a wedge that was a false breakout above the resistance and drop now we hit a correction drop again uh, maybe we'll have a correction again and maybe a drop we will see i i'm after a loss i'm trying not to re-enter this position because it's very uh, bad from the uh, psychological point of view because even if you have a strong mind when you are re-entering a position which you had a loss before it's like you're trying to convince yourself that you were right so from the um, psychological point of view this is not the wisest decision in the world uh, to horizontal resistance but we will see what will happen when the price for example will test this black line as for now we have a quite clear support here so price breaking this uh, this line lower blue can be an interesting selling opportunity we had silver now time for gold gold and silver is having a better pattern uh, maybe uh, we need to adjust this line better yes i think uh, it is better here support 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 resistance resistance so the price is having a double top formation here uh, we need to adjust this line it's more of a wedge than the flag and the breakout of the lower red line will be a sell signal on gold simple as that no fireworks here australian dollar to new zealand dollar sideways trend not very interesting 
I miss this kind of directional movements but we are not getting that so actually I'm gonna remove this Bitcoin heading higher so uh, we had a small bounce here and um, well it's not reverse so most probably we will see new local highs situation is positive the price is making higher highs and higher lows it all looks good uh, situation is tempting for buying so no wonder that there is this, su such a hype right now on the market New Zealand dollar to American dollar bounced from the horizontal resistance uh, but broke the downtrend line and broke the lower line of the symmetric triangle so this can be interesting so price broke those resistances yesterday which brings a positive sentiment this reversal here may be just a typical pullback so the price is coming back to test the recent broken resistances as support as supports uh, also we have the subtrend line here so we have combination of those uh, four areas uh, four supports here and the price bouncing from this area can be a nice buy signal maybe different color i don't know yellow we will see but they made the first attempt yesterday and bounce here break out of this line yes that can be <coughs> quite nice <coughs> i'm sorry and that can uh, actually because this is this long-term horizontal resistance and that comeback can actually cancel the sell signal on new zealand dollar to american dollar price coming back above the orange area that will be huge if you believe in a bounce here um, there is no signs of uh, signs of a bounce uh, but the price is approaching this level so it's a risky trade uh, but also with relatively good risk to reward ratio because for example if you buy here i don't know stop loss should be at least here so that's 26 pips and the potential if we will get a bounce here the potential profit can be huge like at least first one on 38.2 uh, so entering here stop loss like 30 pips take profit 130 that's a good risk to reward ratio WTI oil we have a, a lot of flags recently we have a flag here as well uh, flag is a trend continuation pattern it started after a downswing so downswing flag downswing that's what we should see on the oil american dollar to canadian dollar well that was everything started with this cell setup here and i even traded that i had a short position here um, but then the price reversed sharply then went lower now mm, this fibo is no longer in use and uh, this too so what the price did is the price yesterday broke the neckline of this head and shoulder formation and the lower line of this uh, flag and in the same time an uptrend line so this created a strong sell signal the price used the momentum to break the horizontal support and we have a test of this support as a resistance the price can go even this high and then reverse the sentiment is negative on american dollar to canadian dollar definitely so yes that is a sell uh, signal unfortunately i'm not there but look at this why i was uh, going short there is because of this correction equality pattern and because of those two candles like a shooting star and the, then a bearish angle thing well the sell signal is still on uh, because if you, we have a correction quality pattern so we should get uh, like another downswing of 
2000 pips, 2100, 1700. So far from the stop we had 300 pips. So we can get like here at least 1400 pips, which makes it an interesting selling opportunity. But maybe we'll see how deep the price will reverse and maybe I will re enter this position. Euro to New Zealand dollar still locked in a long term sideways trend. This is a flag. We're waiting for the breakout of this flag. I would prefer the breakout to the upside because that would trigger a buy signal based on the symmetric triangle and based on this flag. Euro to Swiss franc had a shoulder formation breakout of the lower line of the trend. But here also traders are not it's hard to decide for them maybe because of the data today they don't they didn't want to make any important decisions before the mm, statement and press conference from ecb uh, so still for the proper trading signal we need to wait and british pound to new zealand dollar um downswing wedge false breakout downswing but uh, i'm sorry but that can be a false breakout uh, as well. So as you can see on many instruments, those movements are choppy. I don't like this. No directional movement. Still, still we have to wait for directional movements. So let me recap that for you. Euro dollar, inverse can show the formation symmetric triangle, breakout of the upper line of this, uh, breakout of the upper green line by signal. Silver, silver is having a nice selling opportunity. Now the price stopped, but uh, price creating a right shoulder here will be a super nice sell signal. Swiss, Swiss franc to Japanese yen on a weekly chart that is one of the best setups I have uh, seen recently. So selling here can give us a nice profit. It's like selling here, stop loss on 110 points, take profit 300 pips, good risk to reward ratio. Euro to Australian dollar waiting for the breakout. We should get this breakout today as we do have important data for the euro. New Zealand dollar to Canadian dollar, uh, symmetric triangle formation. I would prefer breakout to the upside because uh, of the risk to reward ratio, but the price is pushing lower today. American dollar to Japanese yen. Let's say comeback above the green area will be a super strong buy signal based on a weekly chart but as for now we have to wait for this american dollar to swiss franc breakout of the lower orange line will be a super strong sell signal british pound to canadian dollar this one is hard for me because i had a short position there but there is still a sell signal on unfortunately without me and gold nice sell signal bitcoin still positive new zealand dollar to american dollar um broke major resistances and now test that resistance as a, as a support a bullish reversal pattern here will be a nice buy signal oil sell signal will be triggered once the price will break the lower line of the flag american dollar to canadian dollar definite sell signal triggered yesterday but now broken supports are being tested as the resistance is first one maybe second one Maybe we'll get a flag here, but the sell signal is definitely on. And Euro to New Zealand dollar are still locked in a symmetric triangle. I'm waiting for the breakout of the upper line to get a buy signal. And Euro to Swiss franc without any major uh, proper setup. So as you can see, those were markets on Thursday. Unfortunately, no clear, no clear um triggers here uh, but well maybe we'll have to wait for and uh, this and they will happen tomorrow or monday as for now thank you very much uh, now a short break and after that we'll have a webinar about the technical analysis i hope to see you all there so as for now thanks very much and goodbye